Hey, good optometry morning. So millions of people get cataract surgery every single year, hoping for perfect vision. But what nobody tells you is that one in four of these people may not be happy with their results. The worst part is that many of these patients feel abandoned when they try to explain their vision after cataract surgery. So here's why you might be struggling after cataract surgery and things you can do to actually solve your problem. So so modern cataract surgery creates sky-high expectations for patients. And you've all heard stories about people miraculously throwing away their glasses after cataract surgery. But sometimes these success stories hide the truth. So perfect results depend on your unique eye structure. And your pre-existing eye conditions, those matter too. So the problem after cataract surgery, your surgeon is saying that everything is great. They replace that cloudy cataract with a crystal clear implant lens. But that doesn't quite match up with how you're feeling with your vision. So you may have paid a lot of money for surgery and you were kind of expecting something a little bit different and you need someone to listen to you. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, and I'm an optometrist and I hear patients that tell me that exact story that you're feeling. So here's what's exciting. There are solutions to the problem. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the main reasons why your vision isn't what you expect it to be and why you might be ending up with glasses after cataract surgery, but I'm also going to explain options that you have that can help you right now. So one reason why you might not be happy with your vision after cataract surgery is because maybe the wrong lens implant was put in your eye. Now, if you get the wrong lens implant in your eye, that doesn't mean that you're going to have bad vision, but it just might mean that you might need to have some type of glasses to help you see both far away and up close. And that might be something that you were not expecting to happen. So cataract surgery is done by humans and sometimes mistakes are made during the process. And so there's a particular lens that you were supposed to get in your eye and for whatever reason you didn't get the lens that was supposed to be put in your eye. So why does this happen? So perhaps someone mistakenly chose the wrong lens. Perhaps there was a transcription error when someone's copying information from one place to another place on your file. Maybe someone wasn't able to read handwriting or a number was entered incorrectly into a computer system. Perhaps they mixed up the right and the left eye and that was the error. Or perhaps there was a wrong note on the patient file or maybe there was just a communication error somewhere along the way. Now fortunately, getting the wrong lens implant doesn't happen very often. There was a study out of the UK that actually looked at this and they found that less than 0.5% of patients with cataract surgery had the wrong lens that was put in your eye. Now I'm going to tell you what can, you can do if this happened to you, as well as the solutions for some of these other issues that might be resulting in unhappy vision. But first we'll talk about the other things that might have gone wrong resulting in an unexpected vision after cataract surgery. And so I realized this video might be a little bit confusing and there's a lot of information here. So I've created a little information sheet giving all these summary points and a checklist for you. And if you want that, you can just look in the description. I've put a link there. You can click on that and I'll email it to you. Or if you put in the comments, cataracts, I'll make sure that you get that link sent out to you. Okay, the second reason why you might have ended up with an unexpected result after cataract surgery is that maybe the wrong lens design was chosen. Now, this is different than the first thing that I just described. It's not that the wrong lens was chosen. They chose the right lens. The lens that went in your eye was the lens they intended to go in your eye. However, maybe that lens wasn't the right one for what you were expecting to happen. So there are a lot of different options that you can get after cataract surgery for the lens implant. And which one you choose will depend on what you want from your vision. Do you need to see clearly far away? Do you need to see clearly up close? Do you need to see both? Does it not really matter? How much money do you want to spend? How much do you want or don't want to have to be dependent on eyeglasses after cataract surgery? Those are all the things that go into making this decision. Now, because there's monofocal implants, there's toric ones that correct your astigmatism. There's ones that are multifocals or extended depth of focus lenses. A lot of different options that go into this. And in addition to that, the surgeon can actually choose where the final predicted prescription is going to be. Do you want to see super clear far away? Do you want to see super clear up close without glasses or kind of somewhere in between? Those all go into that. And it's a big long discussion that I don't have time to get into in this video, but I've done a whole playlist that I'm going to put up here. And if you want to watch that, you can 
go through some of the options that might be available to you. I'll also put that link in the description down below. But here's the important thing to remember. Cataract surgery, no matter how much you spend and no matter which lens they put in, it's not going to restore your vision to what it was like when you were in your 20s and 30s. Now, cataract surgery can make your vision clearer and brighter and, and more contrast and better colors and crisper potential vision, but you're going to probably need to wear some type of glasses or some type of correction for some distance or another to have perfect vision. There's very few people that are going to have perfect vision in the distance, perfect vision way up here, perfect vision out here without glasses after cataract surgery. You'll probably need them for something, but which one you need it for depends on the individual person. You can definitely be more independent from your glasses and need them less for some of the most popular things you do, but what that expectation is needs to match up with the lens design they're putting in your eye to get you the best outcome. And the other thing to note, just because you spent a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean that's going to give you perfect vision. Each lens has its advantages and disadvantages and will result in a different outcome. Okay, the third reason why you might be ending up with poorer vision than what you expected after cataract surgery is because maybe it had something to do with the calculations that were done in order to determine which lens implant was being put into your eye. So cataract surgery is actually kind of like a minor miracle and we kind of downplay it and take cataract surgery for granted because it is so commonplace and it's so quick and it's so easy to done and so common that we forget how complicated this surgery is. There is a lot of information. You're taking a lens out and you have to pick a lens to go in and you have to pick the right power and the right type of lens to go in your eye. And that depends on what your prescription was before surgery, the front curve of your eye is, what the power of that lens is inside your eye, what the length of your eye is, how dry your eye is, what you want to see after the surgery, how much you do or don't want to wear glasses and what you do or don't want to wear glasses for after surgery. It can depend on the brand of the lens that the surgeon used and it can depend on the surgical equipment that the surgeon used and the technique that the surgeon has. And so in order to get a great outcome, the surgeon has to take all that information and they put it through a calculation and a formula with an algorithm that's gonna predict the perfect lens for you. Now, the tricky part is, there's not just one formula. There's a few different formulas or calculations that the surgeon has to choose from and they will choose the best one based on their experience with different patients just like your situation, but sometimes everyone's just a little bit different and sometimes your eye and the result for your eye didn't respond the way that it typically does. And as a result, you might end up with a unexpected refractive error or prescription than what was expected for you. Now, this is why some surgeons, if they're a little bit concerned about this, they might say, let's do one eye first, we'll see how that eye responds and then we can do the other eye and adjust anything if we need to based on how the first eye responds. Now, sometimes surgeons will do bilateral surgery if they feel, okay, I'm really confident with this information and the data we have, and they will feel comfortable doing both eyes at the same time in a bilateral treatment. But there's options that the surgeon has. Now, the other factor that goes into this is there's a whole bunch of measurements, but the quality of those measurements will determine how good the results are. And the biggest factor that determines the quality of those measurements is how dry your eyes are. If your eyes are dry, if the tears are evaporating off too quickly, or if the surface is irritated due to dry eye disease, the surgeon's not going to get very good results or very reliable or very predictable results. And as a result, that's going to impact the calculations and the final potential outcome of what you might have for your cataract surgeries. So you want to make sure that you have treated your dry eye disease before you get the measurements done before for your cataract surgery. And I would suggest that you should treat your eyes for dry eye disease, whether you have symptoms or not, before you have those measurements done. And that's gonna give you the best outcome, especially if you're choosing any of the specialty premium expensive lenses, because if you're spending that much money, you wanna give yourself the best chance for the best outcome. And if you want a little video about that, I'm going to put a link down how to treat dry eye disease before cataract surgery down in the description below. And I'll also include that in that email handout that you can get in that link as well. And if you request cataracts in the comments 
for this video. And now the fourth reason why you might not end up with the results that you kind of expected after cataract surgery, because maybe you have some type of eye disease in addition to the cataracts. Maybe you have macular degeneration, maybe you have glaucoma, maybe you have dry eye disease, maybe diabetic retinopathy, something else that's reducing your vision or the best possible or best potential of your vision after the surgery. Now, sometimes they will know that you have one of these conditions before cataract surgery. A good example was a patient might have cataracts and also have macular degeneration. And the tricky thing is, we don't know how much of your vision is being affected by the macular degeneration. And we don't really have a test that can measure that. We can try to guess, they can kind of predict, but there's no way to know for sure. So sometimes people will get cataract surgery that have macular degeneration and they'll notice after the surgery, everything's a little bit brighter, contrast is a little bit better, colors are a little bit sharper, but their vision just isn't any better. And in those cases, unfortunately, sometimes it's because the macular degeneration is the real problem there and we didn't really know that. Now, there will be other situations where someone has a condition in the cataract so dense that we can't actually see in your eye and we don't even know how bad or that there was another condition going on until after the cataracts removed and then you could look inside someone's eye and you go oh wait there was something else going on here that we didn't realize and so the vision didn't turn out as well as was expected but because there's something else going on now if that is the issue if your vision is not where you were expecting it to be because you have some type of eye condition then what you need to do, you need to address those conditions to see if those are treatable to try to improve your vision because glasses or contact lenses or some other type of treatment isn't going to fix those other problems. You need to deal with those problems first and then see if that can improve your vision. Now, if it's one of those first three reasons, then really the problem comes down to, okay, you probably have some unexpected refractive error, basically meaning glasses or contact lenses that you weren't expecting to need. So how are you going to deal with that? So the first way to deal with this is possibly looking at doing a lens exchange. Now, a lens exchange basically means the surgeon goes in, they've removed that lens implant that they just put in, and they take it out and put in a different lens implant that they think is going to get a better result or a better outcome for you. Now, lens exchanges can't be taken lightly. Your surgery may have gone really smooth, really easily, really simple, but removing a lens implant and putting a new one in, that's not so simple. And the reason is, is because that lens implant, it's rolled up really tightly so the surgeon can insert it in and then it unfolds in, inside your eye behind your iris and it sits there and it's meant to be there forever. It's not meant to be taken out. And you can't really go in and roll it up again and take it out. It's kind of tricky. It's kind of like if you have one of those rolled up mail to order mattresses and you live in a really tiny apartment in New York City and you get it mailed to your bedroom and then you unfold it. And if you have a really tight space, you can't really fold up that mattress again and it's really hard to get out without damaging something. And that's the same thing with these lens implants. Sometimes it can be difficult for the surgeon to remove that lens implant without damaging some of the tissue and it puts a little bit more risk for that procedure. So the surgeons, they're going to try to do avoid doing lens exchanges unless they absolutely have to because it can put you at a little bit more risk and it's not guaranteed that it's going to go really, really smoothly. But it is a good question to ask your surgeon, do they ever do lens exchanges? And if they have to, would they ever consider doing that? It can be done, but it's not common and the surgeons will try to avoid that or do some type of option instead of that. Okay, so the second option that could be available to you, if you end up with having to wear glasses for things you weren't expected to is possibly considering some type of refractive surgery like LASIK or PRK to try to correct your vision at that particular distance that you're struggling with. So you could do refractive surgery where basically LASIK is probably the most common one where they reshape the front part of your cornea to focus things at a clearer distance for you. And that's a procedure that can easily be done after cataract surgery and not really an issue. However, you have to be aware of what LASIK or refractive surgery will do. It will correct your vision and make it clearer at one particular distance. So let's say you had a lens implant put in and you were expecting not to have to wear glasses for when you were driving or seeing far away. And now you have to have some type of prescription to, to allow you to do that. If they do LASIK, they'll allow you to see things better far away, 
but it's not going to improve up close vision. You're probably still going to need to wear glasses for some things, but not other things. So LASIK can kind of fine tune an unexpected prescription amount, but it do, it's not going to necessarily make you glasses free. Now, the one thing that you have to be aware is not all cataract surgeons do LASIK or refractive surgery. So you may want to ask, if that's an option for your surgeon to do after surgery, because some surgeons do that and then they might say, oh yeah, we will include that, do that for free, or we might do it for a fee or a reduced fee if you need that after cataract surgery. Maybe an option, probably most surgeons don't do that, but it's possible. But if they don't do refractory surgery, then if you're gonna do that, you're gonna to have to go to an external surgeon and you're gonna probably have to pay for that out of pocket. The first surgeon is not gonna pay for that. They're not gonna include that in your fee, but it's an option that you could possibly have. And the last option that you have, if you ended up with an unintended refractive error or your vision's not what you expected, is getting basically glasses or contact lenses. I try to tell all my patients that are going for cataract surgery, don't expect to be glasses free after your cataract surgery. You can expect to be more glasses independent and you're probably not gonna rely on glasses as much as you did before cataract surgery, but you're probably gonna still need them for some things. You may need them for driving, you may need them for reading, you may need them for a computer, or you may need them for a little bit of everything depending on what your lifestyle is, but you're definitely gonna be more independent from them than you were before the surgery. And, and I have a lot of patients that can see pretty well in the distance and up close without glasses or contact lenses. They can do most things and then they choose to get, well, I'm gonna get a pair of progressives. So I just have those times when I wanna see super clear far away and super clear up close and not have to worry about that. And I'll wear them sometimes, but not other times. And the great news is their prescription's gonna be a lot less, so it's not gonna be as thick of a lens as they probably had, but they're definitely not as dependent on the glasses as they were before. And you can also do the similar type of thing with contact lenses. You can wear contact lenses after cataract surgery. That's a great option. And there's a number of options in contacts that will also help you out. Now, the other thing that can also happen after cataract surgery is there can be complications, which are things that are happening in the healing process that are a little bit unexpected. And so if you wanna learn about one of the common complications after cataract surgery, then you should watch this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.